Good. Our next subject is, as I already mentioned before, maybe you heard the abbreviation, the SWOT analysis. Does anybody know the SWOT analysis already? Ever heard of it? Yes, Pauline, you do? Okay. And the rest? Okay, good. So, what is the SWOT analysis? Who can help me out? The ladies. Nelly, Pauline, help me. What's the SWOT analysis? How could we define it? Uh, um, a manual for carrying out a visibility study on what you intend to do yeah, in terms it's... of its strength, weaknesses, opportunities that are yes. there. Yes, exactly. It's a manual you can use to check your business or to make your business plan or whatever it is. Now, these four letters, SWOT, what do they mean? SWOT, let me write it down here, means this. So, S is for strength. W is for weakness. The O is for opportunities. T stands for threats. So what we can, can we do with this? You could analyze your business plan, your idea, using these four words. Let's take an example. Who? Give me an example. A textbook sender. A textbook sender? Okay, a textbook sender. What could be the strength of a company who is sending textbooks? Uh, the textbooks are selling in that center, whether they are current or they are old. So if they are new ones, according to the system of education, mm -hmm. then that is a strength. So the strength will be that there is always uh, the newest books to sell. Selling always the newest stuff. Okay. Let's make it more general, the newest products. Okay, I only sell the newest products. That's a strength of my company. Pauline. Uh, education being that it will never end, so it's a strength that I will always have a market for. There is always um, demand for, for, for education, right? The never ending demand. Who else raised his hand? Paul, was it you? The book does not expire. Okay, okay, product doesn't go bad. Okay, good. Okay, now let's take the same example. What would be a weakness? One of the weaknesses would be this year they use this one, next year a different. Yes. The books change quickly into a new version, right? A reprint, another one, and another one, and another one. What could be another weakness? Anything else? Yes, Duncan? Uh, limited capital. Limited capital. Okay, it could be, yes. Let's look at the opportunities. Can you think of some opportunities in this business? Yes, Damaris? New institutional learning is starting up. New institutions on learning starting up. Mm -hmm. So new markets. What else? Yes, Yes, a growing population. Perfect. Okay. 
What could be threats? If I'm selling books, Duncan. Political instability. Political instability. Anything else? Competitors. Competitors, yes. Okay, yes, competitors. Crispine. How to say regular change of uh, curriculum so syllabus also can be a threat to business as well. For example, we are not able to clear the stuff that we just printed. And then the other day, I'd like to say, we're waiting for the other day, and then we're dancing, then we're dancing. Regular change of curriculum, yes. John. Uh, change of the educational system, following from the headquarters to CEA system. Yes, perfect. And Rafa, you will say something, right? I was saying internet is a threat. Yes, wonderful. I was waiting for that one. So why is the internet a threat? Books will be digitalized in future, so they're not selling books or last books. Right? I'm very happy that you gave these examples because what you actually seem to know already is that the strength and the weaknesses, these two things here, up here, they are, as we call it, internal. You can influence these, right? The other ones here, opportunities and threats, it's external. You cannot change that. Political instability, you cannot influence that. Internet, it's there. Whether you like it or not, it's there. You have to deal with it, all right? So this is external. You cannot influence that. This, you got it in your own hands. Is this clear to everyone? This is, in a nutshell, the SWOT analysis. You can study years on this. Many people do, but actually this is it for a start, okay? Do you have any questions, remarks, some things you want to add? Uh, Raphael? Yes. Like the sort of analysis, it depends on the particular, particular enterprise you're running. Exactly. So For every business, it looks different. Yes. Even if you have uh, one business and you put it in, a, in another place, it can be completely different. All right? I mean, if, if we would do the book, bookshop in, uh, in, in Holland, and where I come from, the, the SWOT analysis will look different properly. Because then the, maybe there is a little more political stability. You know? uh, internet is a big thing. So that's really a big threat nowadays. Right? There's a growing population that's not in there in Holland. Because actually our population is decreasing. Like for example, if you realize that you know business, the weaknesses are more than strength. The, it could be that the weaknesses are more than the strength. Could be, right? Doesn't have to be that that way necessarily, but it can be. Um, so it, it makes you clear what you have to pay a lot of attention to. Like, okay, we should be careful with this. Maybe uh, you're too young. You don't have enough money to start capital. Uh, maybe it's uh, your own working experience which is lacking, right? So before you start your job, before you start your business. If it turns out that you need some more experience, maybe you should wait starting the business and first make sure you get enough experience or enough capital to do it, right? So this is, a, as you said, a manual. This will help you to, overview, to make an overview before you start already to see, can I really do this? Is it smart to start now or are there some things which I should think of and ask myself, hmm, maybe I should wait, right? Okay, okay, any more? Anything else? Once, twice?
سود